Hey everybody and welcome to the Wolf Pit. Today I'm going to make chicken fettuccine alfredo and I'm going to make it without using any heavy cream. I don't have any heavy cream and I don't want to go to the store just to get heavy cream for this recipe. So let's find a way to make it just as rich and delicious as it is with cream. So let's get started. And you probably thought just because I wasn't going to use heavy cream that this was going to be a healthy recipe. Nope. I said I want this to be just as delicious and rich as normal fettuccine alfredo. So I have my cast iron skillet on medium low heat and I'm going to start off with one stick of butter and now I'm going to add two pounds of boneless skinless chicken breast that I've cut up into bite sized pieces, granulated garlic, granulated onion, black pepper, and salt. And now I'm going to give this a stir and we're going to let this poach in the butter for about 15 minutes uncovered and by poaching it you will not overcook your chicken, you will not brown the chicken and the chicken will be very moist and very tender. After lightly poaching in the butter for 15 minutes our chicken is almost done but not quite fully cooked. I'm going to add a half a cup of all-purpose flour and give it a stir until it's all incorporated into the butter. And then once it's incorporated, we're going to let it cook for two to three minutes to get that raw flavor out of the flour. And now we have a blonde roux with chicken in it, and we're going to add four cups of 2% milk. Now what I've done is create a basic bechamel sauce, which is going to be our cream for our chicken fettuccine alfredo. Now you want to bring this up to a simmer and continue cooking on medium low for 10 to 12 minutes, stirring every one to two minutes, just so it doesn't stick on the bottom. And after 10 to 12 minutes, it should be nice and thick. After the sauce thickened nicely, I added one and a half cups of Parmesan cheese, which you will not see because the battery died in the process. Now I'm going to taste for salt and pepper. Man, is that good, but it needs a little bit more pepper and a little more granulated garlic. Once the cream free Alfredo sauce is seasoned just right, I'm going to begin to fold in the fettuccine noodles. And we're going to do this in small batches at a time to ensure that everything gets coated and does not become one big clump. There you have it, chicken fettuccine alfredo. And nobody would ever guess that this is made without cream. I hope you guys give this a try. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.